Desk Leisure Boy. Hello. Are we dealing with this? Uh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> Just in time for the pre-stream to end. Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... He's the mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. <laughs> as well as... Hello, I'm <laughs> And, uh, yeah, just... <laughs> like... <laughs> okay, Glacier Boy, you missed this bit, but, like, practically the moment that I logged in, a bat yeah. raid started. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, now I guess he gets get to see why I was very co insisting on giving the chickens a damn roof. Yeah, <laughs> I just quickly grabbed whatever food I could grab from the food box to fight them off, but yeah. Yeah, like... Okay. They are... They don't hit hard and they are extremely weak. But they are annoying to hit. That, yeah, that's the problem. They are annoying to hit due to they are flying. Wait, why did you need food for fighting them off? Yeah, the bats. <laughs> like, I... I the, just in case they did manage to, well, do enough damage, I, <laughs> I'd rather not lose my skills. But yeah, yeah they... welcome back to Valheim. <clears throat> uh, where, well, we'll be continuing with exploring, though... Where the heck we left the boats? Uh, uh, right, yeah. We left it at the uh, explorer... Uh, <clears throat> at the explorer portal. Yeah, we have to continue exploring the planes. For I, when I ran around there a bit, I realized it's bigger than Hillian expected. Yeah. And there's Glacier Boy. Uh, there's been a little bit of redecorating inside here. Yep. Like the beds Suddenly have been moved and back and such. Suddenly, mm. when we did that, we realized that we can no longer make Christmas trees, so. Yeah, that's one comfort we can't use, really. Uh, let's see, there are certain spots here where the comfort should hit 17. Yep, yeah, here, for example. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one yeah. cool piles there. <clears throat> and where I am, there's a comfort of a high of zero. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? I'm joking. I'm saying that yeah, I'm outside. No outside. Oh, well, come in. Okay, uh, one bit of warning beforehand. I am expecting a full... Uh, uh, what the fuck kind of accent was I uh, even attempting there? I'm expecting a phone call in about half an hour. So, yeah, we'll have to do a bit of a BRB then. Shouldn't take yeah. too long. Like 10, 15 minutes maybe. Yeah, du during that, me and uh, Glacier Boy will likely still do some... Well... Scouting? Yeah. Like, we're not gonna go and lazy about Well, the captain is on the phone machine yeah. thing. What the? Oh, I got some flags. And some coin thrown at me? Oh, how mm. did that happen? Uh, we've expanded the wall you? over there a bit to, well, stop the graylings from just wandering around the edge of the hill. But, yeah, beyond that, nothing too much has been done. We haven't really explored since, so yeah. Also, apparently the, the face tracker is being difficult, so let me reset that. Okay, but why is it thinking that I have a lazy eye all of a sudden? Oh yeah, probably no exploration though in the planes. There's an exploration that a bit more things will happen. Hopefully, oh, already fooling. Wait, you already run out without us? Yeah, I'm just at the explorer portal, the other side of it. Oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna reorganize here. <laughs> Poison took him out. Oh yeah, last we were actually getting tar, wasn't it? Uh, well, oh yeah, there's probably some tar maybe still left there. We should probably grab. I'll take a look. I realize we never moved some of the food over to the other side. Now, well. Uh, something that can be done off stream. If we can remember yeah. it. <laughs> now, let me take a peek. There was, oop, there was this village here that we were 
pestering. Did we manage yep. to clear it out? I think we did. I'm gonna do some quick repairs, and I'm coming over for... Okay. It could probably be good if we to explore that plane as good as possible before we use the boat again, since... Do we have any onions? Uh, we should have a box of onions. But yeah, since the damn thing that we tell us where the boss is, is a small stone. It can be by small stones, a stone circle, a ruined tower, a... Not even it can be in a village, but... Yeah. Okay. It's one of those, you almost want to turn the damn planes upside down. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. Okay. We also got a lot of bread now. In the uh, <clears throat> in the vegetarian food table. We have food chest, not table. Yeah. It I think I would prefer us to use the bread. We have more of it. Okay, and yeah, we were draining the tar here. Yeah, I'll just keep looking around for anything of interest. Yeah, I gotta check the windmill. If it's empty, I will refill it. Okay, this isn't as big as thoughts. Got some flowers okay. here. Okay, I, I think we've actually seen most of this plains already. Since, well, to uh, the north, it just it leads into the sea, what? and to the west, it leads into swamps. Okay, I, got, I had to show you. For, I saw uh, an area that just led to more plains. Hmm. I'll check more north from here, past the big stones. Yep. As long as I don't, don't run into too many froolings, I should be okay. Cut to the last stream where I died like what five times or so. Uh, three maybe. No, even I died during that stream. Okay, I, I think I see what you mean. That's there's a small crossing across the water, and then there's more plane leading to a mountain in the distance. Yeah, and it looks like and, uh, one. And the mountain is in the middle of an area, so. There could be way more planes around that place. Okay. And it's like, and since we are looking for the damned stone, we, it's probably better for us to do it on foot, since, well, yeah, you're gonna easily miss the stone if you're on a boat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I, thought that, I thought there was a sea over here, but no. Let's yeah. see. Check where you're on the map. Yeah, you would run to the area that I've not explored yet. So yeah, there's a definitely more area up north. Huh. Apparently up north from you, there's this smoldering tomb. Okay, that's quite a distance, though. I don't think this island is going to reach to there. Down for what? Not impossible. Like, you should see the videos about some of the maps. Is that a village? I should be careful since I don't have a full meal. Actually, I do have a full meal on board. Onion soup, bread, and wolf skewer. That would actually make Wait. a decent meal, I think. Wait, bread, what? onion soup, and what? You're going stealth build? Or, I mean, stamina build? Yeah, that was just what I already had in my inventory. All right. Alright. Is everyone ready? Yep. Let's see. Yeah, there is a village here. I'm trying to spy out the shamans. I'm not seeing any berserkers, actually, but they might be getting blocked by buildings. Yeah, always keep an eye on them. Like, as soon as you can keep the distance from them, you should be safe, but... Yeah, that... Hmm. It is a risk to fight them in melee. Let me see. Just gonna mark this. And continue on the other side. <clears throat> the other way. Okay. Are you going solo without us? 
Yeah, I'm just exploring around. I'm not going for the village or such. Let's see. Plus the two if you can copy over the recordings on from the from the cartography table once I get back. And let's see. Yeah, oh, there is mountain dark. over there. Hmm? But part of it is being flanked by dark forest. Well, they're coming over now. Okay. Hmm. Well, Ronan, as it is, it's a bad idea to have you alone over there. You could probably just bring the boat up north a bit more. Yeah, now he's doing that again, looking for an excuse to bring the boat. <laughs> uh, Glacier Boy, where are you going? Um, I was going towards the farm. And speaking oh, yeah. of tar, I just found another pit. Oh dear. <laughs> Only because the groats are fighting with something else. Yeah, I was to say we should they kill? run to a uh, Hillian and make sure he doesn't die. Okay, I'm fooling with me though. Ow. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's groats here. Okay, yeah, um, there. Okay, that slowdown that they put on you is really annoying. Yeah, they do hit hard, so they do repeating shots. Like, I don't hate them, I don't feel like they maybe could need a nerf or... Yeah, you, you kind of need a good shield to even block them. Nope. Okay, how many more are there? I think I already killed like three of them and there's still two left. Or is there another pit here or something? No, hey, there's a lot of pillars around here. Yeah, it also doesn't help that these things inflict poison. Yeah. However, they do like silver and fire. Okay. So me using the sword was a dumb idea, but oh well. Okay, it looks like oh. the did oh, didn't they they get caught behind me. <laughs> Is that yeah, it's Odin there? Yep. Okay, going to mark this pit. Let's go say hi to him. They always run away, <laughs> they poof away, rather, when you try to. He just poofed. Oh, mm. wait, I see something. Can I... No, they moved. <laughs> I was trying to shoot a mosquito that's going after you two now. <laughs> Who was you fight uh, shooting over there? Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky there's no friendly fire. And yeah, not without okay. turning on PvP. Okay, there is a fooling with a torch nearby. But we can we can probably set up a little camp in the dark forest. And also, yeah, something so with true. bones exploded there. Oh yeah, the the, the rib cage is here. If you're ready to get a lot of bones, because I feel as if bones are a bit more useful finally, besides for some upgrades and some uh, early level shield. You can use them as uh, arbalest ammo. Okay. I turn them into so, bolts. So we finally might have a use for the, <laughs> the chest full of bones back at base. Yeah, like they're not the best of bolts, but. They're good enough considering how much you can get and how hard the damn thing shoots. Okay. Hey, come on. Yeah, fighting on the cliff is never good because you're going to run out of stamina just trying to get up the freaking side of it. Yeah, you're gonna need to be careful. And 
Where did Glacier Boy go? In the, uh, the oh, over the pit. Don't swim in it. I'm not, I'm digging. Uh, you probably want to wait with that until it's day again, so we don't run into uh, ruling patrols. I see one brute in the distance. Not a fooling, but just a great uh, dwarf brute. You got a glimpse of its red eyes. So yeah, glimpse I say we just put up a quick eyes. little hut, spend the night, maybe drain out that tar pit, and then continue on. Yeah, I guess we can late at some point investigate the other one we were at to make sure we didn't forget anything there. It's up. There's a broken tower here. That'll make for a good base. Or outpost oh, yeah. at least. And yes, people, this is a valid tactic to do. Especially in the Black Forest. That it's bordered with other areas. Yes, it'll be a lot safer than trying to camp out in the plains themselves. Yeah, though it's not troll-proof, so be warned of that. Okay, just need to put up a workbench. Some beds. One fire. I uh, need some stone for that. Yep, hello. And goodbye. I hear the foolings. Okay, the sun must have wandered in. Let's see. What did I break to get enough stone after all? Yeah, sometimes pot piece building breaks on themselves when you discover them. I can hear the foolings being taken care of. And your fire is suffocating where you put it. Yeah. You may need to remove the stair thing. There we go. Might as well. I got some more building supplies. Okay, I'm. <laughs> I, for a moment, I feared that it was using up the fine woods. Okay, they work. We just need to get rid of the visitors. I don't think we'll need to put out the outer, up outer walls. We just need to I have a spot to sleep. I have so much wood on me, so I need to do something about it. I made a sniping nest. As well, no idea if we may need this spot again. <laughs> okay. Okay, place your boy. Yes. Bed. Come on. <laughs> Bed time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, I guess you two will get to work on that tar pits. Then I'll just continue exploring the rest of the, yeah, the edge of the plains. Uh, I feel like we should follow you, since safe regroup. But while you're on the phone call, we can go for the tar pits. Okay. <clears throat> There's so much junk lying around here already. Yeah, now you see why I started to make a, a bit of a wall. 
It's just a deer. I, I, I do get surprised sometimes again by just how deer sound. Like, it, some, it sounds like they swallowed an off-tune trumpet or something. Yeah, most people are not, don't realize that deers do make sound and they can be rather loud. Okay, just going to put some torches around here, just for safety, since, well, yeah. they stop things from spawning. Uh, that, uh, yep. This is and a lot of wood. carry for now. Okay, yeah. then. I really don't like leaving a mess around. So I am kind of glad that they have done so... Well, it will unload unused assets, which I hope means uh, random of junk that. left everywhere. Hmm? <clears throat> right? Now, that if we get far enough away, it should unload it all. Let's see. On these planes, only the greatest survive to read my words and heed my advice, so heed me now. Great Odin is not a loving father, kind and gentle, speaking honeyed words. Nor is he a stern leads in a lord's arms bonded with gold, commanding his trolls on pain of death. He did not send you here to fight his foes for love or fear of him, but because his foes are your foes. His joy and honor are yours also. You will fight and win just as he once did. Sons and daughters of Odin rejoice. Okay, for a moment I thought that was going to be like a, a, the, the Viking version of an anarchist's uh, manifesto. <laughs> uh, Glacier Boy. <laughs> what are you doing now? Nothing. Okay, he's just south of the tar pits. There's the village. Now, is there much more after this hill? From the looks of it, a decent amount still, but I see swamp over that way. Yeah. Uh, to the northwest. So much pillars! I guess we could call this the pl plane of pillars or something? Sure, yeah. Okay, I see it, some of its continues on that way. Hmm. I'm gonna wait on Glacier Boy here for I I'm I'm gonna try to make sure we all are staying to get to I swear one day I will get a leech. <laughs> a, a leash. <laughs> a leash. leash is what we find in the in the swamp. Uh, 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 yeah true, but yeah, get a leash to just tie around you to make sure you don't run away. <laughs> Oh, you said that. Mm -hmm. Where no rain falls and no crops will grow, still the ground can give up treasures. Okay, that's what the runestone says here. Oh, I think to mean that, that uh, yeah, you can put some of find treasure in boat burials and such. Okay. Hmm. There. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, it just keeps continuing on between these two. Okay, these my... these are these are definitely the largest planes so far. Two mosquitoes. We all on the map. You know, what? I wouldn't be surprised if it does take us to the smoldering tomb. So this will be the first mini boss area. Okay, just notification. The call is expected to be in about five minutes or so. It's probably going to be a bit late. Hmm. Oh, uh, then we, we have, we're gonna soon need, need to, read to, well, hide you. <laughs> Let's see. We can check what's over this hill. And then just head back. Okay, the, the planes still... go on for still a quite a lot more. Actually, we could probably just... We could probably also just build up towards the top of one of these uh, towers. 
pillars. Is we we're like we're not likely to get you know, to draw aggro there. Like it, another tall pit. Okay. Mosquito out of nowhere. And you parried it. Well done. And it isn't too hard. Decently sized swamp as well. Um. There's more planes by the beach. I just realized we, we what is Glacier Boy now over there. But yeah, okay, I think you can see just why. Spat on. I think you can see why you should try to lure villagers into these damn things. Yeah. Actually, can we parry these things? Oh yeah, you can. If you time it right. You having fun there? Hmm? Welcome back. You two having fun there? Uh, bitch is playing with the gunk. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Now, is this going to lap around the mountain? Or more curve around the mountain? I think I just carried it. Some locks has just spawned in. Okay. Oh, I'm not seeing any structures. Okay, pro probably best if we just get to work on this tar pit for a bit. Now yeah, at least we know we're not safe. Another uh, land across the water, I see. Uh, which so direction? Guess, uh, where I am facing east. Uh, uh, yeah, e either lands or that's somehow attached to the Yggdrasil roots. That's above uh, it. That's land from a, from what I can see with my settings. That's definitely land. Okay. And not swamp, luckily enough. It could be a dog forest or a plain. Hmm. Since, since there's already a cliff here, uh, yeah, I think that's what I think Glacier Boy was already working at. Since there's already a cliff here, we can just well let all the tar spill over the edge. Yeah, and there's some meadows nearby. Uh, right, I'm coming over, and we can start working on the tar pit. <laughs> it's not like we're going to add on to the toxicity of it. We might. Oh, okay. this is gonna be interesting. Mm -hmm. What to throw, what to throw, that. We'll destroy some of these cloud berries, but oh well, there's uh, already there's freaking plenty. Here. What? There's a fooling building here. Uh, right. <laughs> okay. What are the chances of this thing having the marker? Not impossible. Are you shaking? Come here. Uh, dang it. Nope. Okay, there is some gold and metal. And Bali? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Had to dig through a, st a stone, I see. Yep. And I cannot pick up all the metal. Bloody heck! I would mm. say. If you're trying to not carry too much things, avoid the Black Forest. Well, sure, the grid was easy to kill. You obviously need stone wood, but... With our current settings, you will get the double. Yeah. This is fine and all that, but it can become an issue.
Something, something, diggy, diggy hole. Oh dear. Yep. Okay, some Draugrs are getting curious, it looks like. Yep. Okay. Now that should I'm be so enough to empty stone. it out. Holy. Yeah, I cannot pick up the stone. I am pulling weight already from all other things. Okay. About to... Yep, there we go. Come on, get out. Hmm. Okay, needs to need to yeah hack off a little bit more. There we go. And there's the call. So give me a bit. All right. We will deal with this. Okay, I'm back. That took a bit longer. <laughs> really? I wanted to protect you. <laughs> you also wait to see what we did uh, at the nearby ruin that we found. Okay, uh, that was about, yeah, 15, 16 minutes, a bit longer than expected, but yeah. yeah. we were able to hear you talk now and then. <laughs> okay, that, so you... at least I had the audio for the stream turned off with that, I finally fixed that. Oh, so only me in Glacial were able to hear it then? Yeah. Okay, otherwise you'd be worried you wouldn't need to mute the video. <laughs> and, uh, hello again! Just made a little cooking spot. Uh, yeah, somewhere to keep some resting buff and all that. <laughs> okay, I can't get a look at myself, but I'm presuming my head is stuck in the roof. Uh, not really. A little bit of the back of it. <laughs> okay, now I'm sticking through oh. it. <laughs> yeah, now you are. I'm stuck in it. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should move that bench over. Anyway. You don't need to growl. The tar pit is done. Um, pulling. Like <laughs> Actually, they can only get up here through one way. Uh, or no way. There we go. Did you put those spikes around? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so that's why it's taking damage. <laughs> At least we probably should use those things a lot more. Yeah, especially now it's easier to get a lot of core wood. And they can kill trolls. They probably After should have a while. eaten before jumping down. <laughs> oh, did you tell uh, Hillian? About? Mm -hmm. About his mic. What? Uh, yeah, that you, uh, you lot could hear me, you know, or some of uh, yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, but, uh, like, like I said, I had the mic audio for the stream muted. So, uh, yeah, no risk there. Good, good. Okay, let me triple check that it is, yeah, it is active again. Because this is full screen with the game, so I can't see the audio bars. Actually, I should mm -hmm. move those over to the side. There we go. <clears throat> now then. Continue on, shall we? Why did I speak yeah, it like, we, show, it, like Yoda? Oh, <laughs> uh, by the way, something happened while we were waiting for you in, in that house. Uh, what then? Just, uh, just a little bit before you returned. A wraith so showed up. <laughs> okay. So we got a wraith trophy in two chains. <laughs> Okay, we need more of those for the shields, after all. Honestly, we should probably get to work on making the black metal tools as well. Is it basically the black metal axe? Yep, and the pickaxe. 
Okay, let's see. where are we here? We are over here. The boat's over there. So, okay, yeah, I could see us taking the boat and sailing over to the other island near us. Let's see. For over there is just plains now. Uh, I mean, uh, meadows. Okay, so you mean right. to the south of here? Uh, oh, wait, uh, I'm gonna check it. All right, east of us is another island. So it's hard okay. to see now with the, this morning light. Let's see, yeah. There is a big island right across where I'm looking. Okay, yeah, we can head over there since this plane is, is another bust. Yeah. It does have, we did get some tar. There is the other tar thing that I did. That I started. Yeah, there's the other tar pits, but we can get to those another time. For now, yeah, I for... hear more foolings. I don't think it's too exciting to watch us gather, well, yeah, tar. The entire stream, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's going to mark a copper deposit. There. Now, anything of interest on this runestone, or shall we just head straight back? Uh, uh, I was Astrid, sealed maiden of the forest. I know nothing of my life before I came here, but my arm remembers the sword and my eyes see the course of the arrow. Now the raven guides me and I fight the great beast in Odin's name. Okay. Uh, there's some luxes here. Yeah, I feel like we can uh, actually sail off. I was hoping this would be bigger, but... Well, no, that might be more planes. That means I can finally see now there's more land over there. And I think that might be the land must have led us to the smoldering tomb. Which, which could be interesting to do on this stream, for we are all three people after all. Okay. Let's just head to the coastline then and just follow it back. No, I have no room. And yeah, we actually can go through the, this forest then to get that. So we get a bit more explored and, well, it is on the way back anyway. Yeah. Some more resources noted if we ever need them in the future. A bit unlikely, Indeed. but still a possibility. So we probably going to need to get to the portal and unload the tar and all that before we yep. just sail the boat. More copper. Okay. Uh, copper, I would probably prefer to mark those closer to home. Yeah. It is unlikely that we'll ever well, <laughs> mine these out. Indeed. Unless we make an outpost somewhere here nearby. And yeah, now we just had the idea of what if we had, what if we could make uh, copper decorations and such. Uh, you kind of can. You use copper for some ta stone tables. Okay. Oops. And the scones. Or scones, I guess you call it. Yeah, I, th I think it is scones. Wait, no, I think it's scones, and scones is the thing you eat. Okay. There. Okay, marking this. Let me see this, people. Sometimes it is a good idea to avoid fights, especially when you're full on loot. Yeah. And this probably would have made a decent bit of farming lands and some locks have spawned in behind us. Yeah. It's a little bit bumpy, but not impossible. Yeah, luckily we already have our farm, though. Yep. And we see how we make in the future for... I, I Before stream, I did tell here that uh, while it's good idea to have a D4 one base, it's probably better to have several design ideas in advance sense. Well, ge random generate a map, so... Yeah. Trying to stick to just one idea of a base is likely a bad idea. Definitely. Though, for the next map, with the next big update, uh, 
I'm thinking we should try to just build a ra uh, at least a hub around the spawn points. We'll see if we can make it our actual base or not. Yeah. Mosquito. I feel like it's good to have a portal hub on it. Because you can make it a decent size. So if people are joined, they can just take a portal to the base. Yeah. But again, okay. it will depend on where the starting portal uh, spawn thing will be. Yeah, if it's a decently flat land or not. Like, I I've done a few tests and half the times it <laughs> one side is just completely covered by a hill. Yeah. So you can be lucky to have it be about a coast, where it usually means they will not have a hill and all that. Mm -hmm. But still, it is a gamble. Let's make sure we have Glacier Boy staying with us. Yep, there's Glacier Boy. Okay. Uh, but wait, okay, I was about to say. Hmm? Icon ahead. for Glacier Boy? Uh. All right, I I haven't, I haven't put in an icon uh, an icon avatar for him yet. Uh, I've got an imp already. If you would like to use that? Okay. A, a what? An, an image. All right. I, I was to suggest a, a penguin. <laughs> I was just gonna send the picture of the screaming goat. A, a screaming ghost? Goat. goat. Oh, goat. Uh, at some point work. or another, I'm going to need to add a hearing horn to your avatar. But in, in my defense, I, I barely hear Glacier Boo to begin with at times, and I have him on uh, max volume. They, they have a, quite a subtle voice. Yeah, that could be fixed by... <laughs> Increasing the output sound on his end. Also, yeah, how did this screen not notice me? It's on 200. Yeah, on his end, that he oh. erases the uh, output volume. And you can find it under Discord settings, audio and voice, I believe, or voice and video. And this should be a bar then for how loud you hear near everything coming from uh, Discord, and how loud it gets outputs. Uh, probably shouldn't run too far away while he's clearly looking at that. While you... I'll let you guard him while I go and uh, unload. Let's see, still good with food. Okay, how's that? Uh, better, yeah. That's better, yeah. Okay. And yeah, some microphones just really record sound softly and such. It's just a poor item thing. Hmm. Let's see. I do think we we yeah, our sh oh, yeah. our shorts on black metal again due to how much it costs to upgrade stuff with it. I just ran past some. Mm. I have twenty black metal on me. Yeah. I will throw into the machine right away. Let's see. So we have a lot of black metal on smelter over here. We have one and twenty one. 224? Okay, so we should be decent with that at least again. <laughs> yeah, we just need more to... Enough room. We just need or to smelt chess. it. <laughs> if anything, it's short on coal. <clears throat> Maybe that I should keep the wood to turn into coal. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, we can get plenty in other places. Let's see. Uh, tar goes over here. And the golds and uh, needles. This is probably... Yeah, this has more than one stack, so... <clears throat> extra goes into extra storage. 
spare iron, I probably would be putting those Great Dwarf Eyes into torches, like that one, the blue. But since we don't, well... There. Yeah, like... I definitely go for this kind of torch on the next map. Like, I can see also go for iron, since we, we, we're gonna need more iron regardless. Yeah. For the iron would help us make, uh, yeah, I, I would be able to make some very nice buildings uh, a bit taller and easier with it. And of course, these torches, uh, that we, it's hard to not get many Great Dwarf eyes. Yeah. But I'm just glad you can, especially now with these settings, we can u actually use Great Dwarf eyes for even food. But what are you cooking? Locks. Or no, this Wait, is wolf that's... meat. We are in need of meat. Did I know you could cook wolf meat on that? And... But don't cook locks meat on that way. For locks meat is better in pies. Okay. You okay? Just loud hammering noises all of a sudden. Uh, that's because you're harming the campfire, or the hard fire. Okay. There. Yeah, actually, I'll, I should put that in here for the, the ready-to-eat stuff. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Lock spy, 75 health, 24 stamina. Okay, and plenty of bread. There. Let's see. Might as well make some lock spy. And I'll just grab two of these. Replace my onion soup with them. There. Okay. Mm. Put these really over here. We need to sometimes to start our world early just to make, prepare the food. Yeah. Uh, let's do some repairs, and then we can head out and continue exploring with the boats. Uh, not until the pies are done. Yeah. I just throw them into the oven. We are in need of stamina food as well. Um, ovens. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, we have a lot of bread here and the onion soups. Wait, that works for it. Bread. Yeah, ready to eat stuff goes over here. We may want to replace this with a uh, black metal chest sooner or later. But for now... Oh, you love them now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It's I just... don't... Here's the thing, people. Early on, before we started to this, I told him about the black metal chest, and he did not like them, for he thought they were expensive. Yeah, and now with how much of the stupid stuff we're getting... Yeah, and especially how you actually easily can get a lot of black metal. And we have a mm. good armor now, finally, as well. Yep. So are, we, are we put away the pies in here for now? But some of these foods is probably good to save for the future. Okay. And a bit better to eat it all. They, they need most of it for the boss. Well, let's rest up so we start a new day fresh. With no yep. need to just dodge fooling patrols. Okay. And they said I could not fit three beds next to each other here. For okay. love of... <laughs> doing that to me. Okay, nice peaceful sleep. 
<laughs> and then Glacier Boy snickering like a fooling. <laughs> oh, oh god, that's not like grave insults. <laughs> Like, I see uh, there's some, a lot of decorative work in, in mine thing I still miss to do, but again, it's not a... We, we're gonna end up making a new base in the future anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> like, all of these bases are temporary until the next big patch anyways. Yes, but we will try to make them somewhat nice. At least a, 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 they will serve as a good template of what we can do in the future, but nicer. <sighs> For all you know, I might need to do this structure as we will have again, but bigger? Yes, we have more room in the courtyard. But also, but yeah, I just hope we, that we'll be able to find a very decent flat area. We can just make a good base, a good farm, and a good animal pen for, again, the chickens will be needed on the next map. Yeah. Especially plus, until we actually... Uh, uh, sorry, go on. Yeah, plus, it'll just be a big boon to just start off with good food right away. Yeah. Ooh, there is the horn of celebration. It's oh, yeah, there's that. Tiny bit of damage. That only, only allows you to drink mead. Uh, but if you take the... I don't know how, how to decide which mead to take. But it's okay. mostly... Decorative uh, cosmetic item. So uh, shall we game. leave this portal here or shall we break it down? We can just rename it to something like Tar Pits. The Pillar Plains. Uh, I don't think we can uh, fit it there, but I guess we can name it Pillar Plains. Since we do have one Tar Pit more to grab there. Yep. Oh, uh, it is not too far from the other island we are to visit. Hmm. Well, and there is another village we're not raided there yet, so... I guess we could rename it. Okay. Once you so two are, are we, through... I will prepare the new portal for it. Okay. Then you just need to rename hmm. it. That's gonna... Yeah, I'm not renaming. Yeah, actually, hmm. yeah, yeah. If you're putting down another one for it, then we can re rename it. This is all still be connected. Yeah. I was having a bit of a derp moment there. We do not have a lot of iron. I'm trying to figure out where the heck we have the materials for it. Uh, actually, they're back here on the boat because I took most of those with. We're making new portals. How many did you take? All. Why? <laughs> Why not? Okay, bring them Ew. back. Yeah, I, I just came through the portal to pick them up. Here's the thing, Hill. <laughs> it's good to have some on your boat, but all of them? <laughs> yeah, that is a bit much. <laughs> yeah, imagine if the boat sank. Yeah, most of the stuff in the inventory should get boxed up then, but that will still be an absolute pain in the ass to get. Yeah, uh, do you grab most of them? Yeah, uh, I grabbed a part of them. Yeah, let's see, miss there. Oh, I okay. I will go back to the portal and I will be get ready to rename it. Um, do we have any guck? No, we we <laughs> it, we can't name it that long. So let's call it Bill Plains. Yeah. There. Okay. Okay, we might need to... There we go. Okay, now it's free. Uh, it's free up for uh, an, a new explorer. Yep. All right, Let's see. is everyone Super. ready? Yeah, I'm just trying to look for different uh, bow upgrades that we have resources. Let's 
but I'm coming up through now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, wind is somewhat against, but okay. Not enough yeah, to need motor. Yeah, uh, and it's not a f long trip, and we lucky we could do the smoldering tomb. Maybe, yeah. Then we have a reason to visit Hilda again and uh, give her some uh, gifts. Okay, we're going to get bumped a little bit. And y y you're gonna leave Glacier Boy behind? No, just moving away to the point where we can just take off without needing to steer extra. Okay. And off we go. And um, almost immediately hit and run a fish, that. I think. Yeah, plankos can be annoying for they usually sometimes have these damn hidden land Sandbanks. pieces. Uh, what? Sandbanks. Sandbanks, yeah. You, you don't you will not suffer too much in the black near a black forest or a swamp, but the plains and sometimes meadows do Meadows usually don't have that too bad. But planes Yeah, that's it can get very annoying. Yeah. Okay. Balancing on the edge of where the winds will work with us. We will have to go against it in a bit there. Okay, but maybe with some luck the wind will actually turn a bit. Or not. Okay. Now, let's keep an eye on the horizon. Okay, that's... <laughs> that little sandbag is a bit far away from the coastline. <clears throat> yeah, that's why they are so dangerous. So, when it comes to black forests, you may sometimes need to watch out for rocks instead. Yeah. But sometimes this they have... is more than plenty of those. Yeah, sometimes they have just a ton of rock. Many you can't see on these. Too, it's too late. And you think, oh, you just, re just remove the rock. It may depend a lot on how deep the water is and how big yeah. the waves are. Uh, sorry, what? Yeah, since you'll probably just get uh, knocked away by the waves and such anyways. Yeah, so... Hmm. Well, you could make a little moat and all that, but... Yeah, screw this. There's a limit to making your own uh, rivers and lakes. Like, it's not easy to broaden or deepen. Yeah, sandbank, mm -hmm. sandbag. I am stranded. Sandbank, sandbank. I mean, not sandbag. You <laughs> did you jump rest? out? No, I lagged out. Oh. Okay, coming back for you. But how did you lag out? I thought you were sitting on the boat. Yeah, I accidentally pressed. My... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hands of the keyboards when you're on board. <laughs> Let's see. I think I see you. There. There they are. Okay, don't spend too much of your stamina trying to swim. I was trying to swim for the ladder. Okay. He's <laughs> gotta go against the, the, against the momentum. Yeah, I feel like Lad added these seats for... Yeah, Glitch Boy just showed why you there's seats here. They're not just for... Oh, it looks cool, you can sit. There's actually a function to it. Yeah. Okay. Get seated, you. <laughs> okay, now keep all the hands and legs inside of the rides for the duration. <laughs> I will arm myself with a harpoon in case yep. danger noodle comes. Yep. 
the no Okay. We still have about three minutes of motor's power. Yeah, the push is out. Yeah, mm. that should be more than enough. It's... Yes, yeah, I'm seeing land up across. Okay. Land ho! And yeah, that's planes. That's kind of good, but we are looking for the planes. <clears throat> but there's plenty of black forest near it, since there's a smoldering uh, tomb near it. There's a structure there's a over there. Yeah, I guess we'd be parked by it since... Well... Yeah, just to it check it out, past that I say we can we yeah, continue exploring the edges. There's this mountain that it transitions into right there. Yeah, but do remember, uh, uh, there's a village over yeah. there. Okay, foolings on top, and of course mist. Well, I alerted them. Almost got him. Let me make sure that this thing doesn't accidentally just float into the village. Piss off you. And no uh, waystone. Okay. But there's loot though. Some mosquito nooses and coin. Uh, oh, bloody heck, it's not foggy. Okay, yeah. I, I do feel like we're a bit too close to use this as a parking spot to, uh, due to yes. the damn village. Okay, get, get on board, then we can continue on. Let's see if I can grab this black metal. Alright. Find me on board. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. I have okay. a complaint to make. <laughs> you can <laughs> you can post it with the complaints department, which is my sword. Okay. You call it a sword? Well, it's a sword. It's more like a body knife. Okay, we'll probably get their attention, but, well, we'll be long gone by the time they can actually get to the water. I'm sorry. The button knife says the one with the toothpick. <laughs> I suddenly want to shout British insults towards them. <laughs> okay, motor's power has run out, but we have wind width. Yep. Yeah, let's see how much we can explore this. But we're still going to need to go on land to explore it, since, again, what we may look for may likely be inland. Mind the death skeetos. Yeah, always mind the death skeetos. So, if you... Here's the thing, people. If you do have the root armor chest piece, then you can explore the, the planes a bit safer, since, well, it absorbs the blows quite well, and you will survive the dam javelin throw is easier just just don't get overconfident yeah because that's what typically ends up getting people killed in this yeah or, and well, most is of these types of games yeah they're resistant against poison priest in the chest piece but the entire rune armor does have a fire weakness yeah and there are foolings with torches yeah that will be a they will hurt a bit more than usual there's another village. Mm. We're all on the map. And we're seen away from the smoldering tomb. Get closer to the coast than I want. Yeah, it seems we're in a bay. Yeah. yeah, I can see one of the... Or is that just little islands? No. I see two ships ahead! Yeah, two sunken ones, so let's not add a third. Sunken? Molov's beached. They're beached, sunken. <laughs> They're not going anywhere else. Yeah. 
they, they can give some treasure and of course uh, free fine wood and I see something there. Nice. Is that the arena My... maybe? Maybe? Okay. Try to slowly Oh yeah, that might yeah. be Yeah, I see somebody can have it. Okay, there's nothing. <laughs> we don't have much of a choice at the moment since the wind is against. And it's oh bloody heck! It is shape on this area. Well, I guess we can. We only have to explore on foot for now. Okay, just park this thing. And damn it! Okay, but it does no make arena. a good uh, spot for a portal, though. Okay. On, and this does look like this is going to be a sizable bit of planes. Yeah. There are Luxus right next to us here, though, so not a good sparking spot. Uh, what about where I'm standing? Yeah, the, <laughs> still close to the Luxus. What Luxus? Oh, I see it. I see a top pit over here. Okay. I see no lot. No, mind, I see them now. <laughs> Hiding between the trees. Actually, how many luxes are there? Let's see. I see one, two, and yeah, just two by the looks of it. And one that's gotten curious. Well. How about we secure the area, then? I lost sight of the curious one. Yep, there it is. The curious one is off to your... You there, and no, I'm... Yep. yep, you're attacking it. Okay. <laughs> See? He's want to learn how to climb. Okay, that's terrifying to see. I know how I felt the one time when Hillian died and I had to wait there by his stuff. Stamina. Here we go. We should probably we should probably carry around a bunch of fire arrows again because those have proven to be very good against them since they put with the bow they get poisoned and put on fire. Yeah, do you do get more poison from these? Do I do suspect piercing arrows do better work? I'm pretty sure all arrows are piercing. Yeah, but some of do more piercing than others, like the mosquito arrows. Wait, where's the other yeah. locks? Oh, they... I swear! They put me um, among these small trees when it's fog. They actually get camouflaged. Yeah. And I'm... Will not fire, I will eat food first. But yeah, the stone over there looks like a good spot to make a little outpost. At least to put a portal on that little stone table. Hmm. Or I think there are more two stones that have fallen over. Yeah. Hmm. It is a you bit close. You want to put the portal here? Or use this as a cooking table? <laughs> no, I think for the moment we should probably try to wait out the fog. Actually, okay, that is a decent distance away from the village. Yep, but what the? <laughs> okay, uh, I don't have the wood for a crafting bench, but that is on the board. Yeah, on the board, the boat. <laughs> there. <laughs> but there's plenty of fine wood here. Yeah. Okay. Crafting bench. There. Mm. 
Okay, doesn't really want to go on there. So, here. Here we go. Now, do we risk the fog or do we go back and see if we can... But would it even be... Yeah, would it already be nighttime? It is nighttime. Okay, then let's go skip it. Plus, I hear foolings over there, so. <laughs> There's already enough of a pain to fight in clear daylight. Yeah, they I'm gonna, are. I'm going to have a look at the ships. Uh, Tor beast at the camp! Oh, Tor beast? Wait, what? <laughs> the Tor thing! <laughs> okay, let, let them fight amongst each other then. They don't at me by the campfire near the portal. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's dead okay, now, then but still. Some... That means that there's Tor nearby. Yeah, th I did mention that earlier. No, but... Okay, get over the... here then, so we can skip the night and actually see before we jump into the tar pit on accident. We already went to the portal. I was waiting for you. <laughs> okay, Glitchboard, in for the portal. In through the portal, I mean. Now, I must just run to the right campfire, not to the village. Oh boy. Well, in with this black metal. Mm. Turn away the fine wood. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, I was thinking about adding in some mods on the game at some time, mostly just to. Uh, the quality of life stuff, like being able to see where enemies can spawn and such, when placing uh, torches. But yeah, Drakir <laughs> doesn't trust mods unless they're on the Steam Workshop. So we'll yeah, have to wait on that. As well. There are many risk uh, mods outside Steam Workshop at times. Although, Thunderstore is a pretty good mod website. Yeah, but I heard with Steam Workshop, it's you just click subscribe. That's it. True. And okay. I suspect, at least, at least as far as I am aware, they will do make sure some no one uploads malware through it and such. Yeah, speaking on that, there was a case recently. Uh, <clears throat> where malware got added onto a game, uh, Slay the Spire. Uh, apparently, the developer of that, their, their Steam account wasn't hacked, but they were basically uh, yeah, blackmailed into handing over their Steam account, which the hackers then used to put malware on the game itself. Holy. But that should have been, uh, that, that should be resolved now. Yeah, for a pretty sure Steam, uh, Valve takes that extremely serious. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a I feel like they of health. We well, feel like they director did a mistake. They should not have. They should just told Valve about it right away. Yeah. They might. Uh, have been the... Yes. Yeah, they they did that did end up infecting some people's PCs with the bullshit and such. But yeah, like I said, should be resolved now. Extra yeah, emphasis on should. Well, they're definitely being threatened into silence. Mm. I just get. Pit there are times I actually ashamed to be a human. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Uh, when it just proves again and again that there are fuckwits on the internet whose only and only life goal seems to be the, to make the lives of everyone else worse. Yeah. Like, sure, most hackers rather focus on trying to 
bribe or blackmail a company, but they will always be dudes just. You just want to be a jerk. There are yeah. Actually, thankfully, that are actually do legal bounties and that. Uh, what do you say? No, he's one. talking about white hat hackers. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is, here's what funny thing. Something I did learn from Digimon game. Regular hacker is supposed to be white hacker. And a hacker does it illegally or it's supposed to be called cracker. Just. Okay. The, the, the thing is, a, those illegal ones that do it illegally will never openly admit the, themselves to be one. For yeah. obvious reasons. Like, it's, it's like, come up just admitting you're a thief or something. Right, yeah, there's a hit just right here. Oh, I should probably repair on all that. But, okay, yeah. I'm going to take out... Well, the... Oh, the two remaining roads. Hopefully, Steam will uh, just Valve. Uh, I thought they would uh, had some procedures like before you do an update, they would uh, make sure no malware is being uploaded to update or something like that. Mm. Now, like I said, they were they were basically. Uh, not blackmail, but scared into handing over their Steam accounts. So yeah, it's not like the, the the hackers are actually going to check if there isn't any you know, if there isn't any malware in the program because that's their entire goal to get it out there. Yeah, but I mean, like I feel like Valve would have something to make sure that every update is up to code, or like there's nothing fishy about it. That's yeah, they leave up to that to the developers themselves. Oh. But yeah, when well, it is discovered that some uh, something has malware in it, they will typically deal with it by just banning the developer. Temporarily, I suspect. They were. No, I'm thinking more permanently because they do not want malware to on this platform at all. Yeah, no site wants that, but... Look, I have heard they wanted to make sure they don't need to micromanage in as little as possible, but I do feel like... It would be a good idea for my, uh, Valve to actually do regular checkups on games to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, but there are so many games on the Steam store that they just cannot do that th themselves. Point taken. Uh. Yeah, which is yeah, why they leave that to developers with the well fitting punishments if they do not uh, do that uh, check work. It's also like with uh, YouTube. There's so many videos that come in daily that they eventually made like an algorithm an AI to check. Yeah. Which is, well, plenty of faults. But for the most part, should still, well, keep the actually dangerous stuff out. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, now, now I'm almost scared to buy games on Steam but just because of that. Now, it's, uh. it's a one in a, what, how many millions case? Point taken, but you still see the I issues, like... Yeah, he's gonna, well, gonna miss the idea to be just bought a CD and all that. Yeah, but then you'd have the problem that if there's malware on the CD, then well, you're not going to be able to get rid of that. Oh, uh, oh, bloody heck, that would be something. And I'm pretty sure there have been some games out there that one that could exactly malware did have massive bugs in them that could be seen as a in unintentional malware yeah like, where i believe with some games it was known uh, or with some copies of it that if you uninstalled the game it would also uninstall well your your windows copy and such oh that's bad yeah Okay. 
I've drained most of this tar pit. I see more black metal. Well, someone has to get a move on most you two are lazying up and back at the base. Uh, we were doing repairs and all that. I was waiting for Glacier Boy to get ready. I was going to upgrade my pickaxe, but we don't, do not have enough time. Yeah, we, we really should get uh, on getting more of that. Or get to work on getting more of that. Yes. What we should do is, every time we go out to explore, it's we throw in wood tar. to the kilns to become coal. <laughs> and then just start smelting while we yeah. are exploring. I'm pretty sure we don't have any uh, smeltable iron at the moment anyways. We have no, but we have plenty of black metal. Yeah. They have just a complete shower of tar with each of these. Okay, almost done. Now I just need to get out myself. <laughs> How does it feel, Hillian? <laughs> uh, at least there's no feathers. You also just a oh spray God. of this stuff every time I try to jump. Ew. Okay. I got the last bit. Okay, uh, still me. missed. Uh, yeah, but not this. That's fake. Yeah, Let, let's go a little bit inland on foot then, though I think I can already see some mountain straight ahead. Uh, yeah, that's a mountain indeed. Dude, it can be a good way to scout around a little bit. True, since the, well, except for the golems, the spawns there are less dangerous. Lux is on the right. Uh, it, it depends on what level, uh, what stage you are in. Like early on, their mountains are dangerous, especially yeah, at night. But less dangerous than the plains. Kinda. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm, yeah, I'm just getting south planes. already. Yeah, there's more planes up north. There are definitely more planes south as well. I almost forgot the, that damn curve. And I see a castle up there in the mountains. Okay. Let's see. This fog is really not helping with keeping an eye on things. Village. I see a village. And the fog is lighting yep. up. Okay, I can see a tower. Not a village, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a still... If you're lucky, it might be there. Let's see, the heck is that uh, thing on the top? Of its banners, probably. It, yep, what's uh, up with Mosquito? The plane seemed to end in the distance. They have totem, so that's something. Okay. How did you not notice me? <laughs> okay, that's one positive about the fog, I guess. It makes the foolings practically blind. Okay, but no waystone. Yeah, at least to totems we got. I think we have about five or six now. Yeah, a bit more, I think. So we should have more enough. And I see there was a rune stone by the beach. It's up there. Let's see what this has to say. Uh, 
that. Mm -hmm. In my dream, Odin came to me as an old man leaning on a stick, a wide-brimmed traveler's hat on his head. He told me to trust the ravens who carry his words under their tongues and to, uh, to carve the stone that others might have his will. We must kill the Forsaken to find our place, uh, our place in his hall at Valhalla. Okay, no need to waste arrows. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it continues on here, so we might have a big plane here. Again. It it, it ends further on. Well, Let's we still have a on. north and south to explore. Yeah, you it's gonna... the map in the distance, that's where it ends. Oh dear. Well, yeah. The only noise I do have with Valheim sometimes is actually a common problem with many games is whenever you're actually looking for something specific, it doesn't appear. Yeah. That's just it's law. Like it only appears when you're not looking for it. As is real life. Yeah, <laughs> and that annoys me. And in Valheim, that's. It, in most survival games, that's extremely annoying for your. You will end up exploring so much. And then it ends up... Then you end up discovering that that one little bit that you skipped somehow had anyways. Yeah. Or you end up accidentally finding it so far away that the boss spawn is extremely far away as well or something like that. Uh. A big ass mountain next to us. And yeah, I'm guessing that it's going to end in a bit here. Yep. Still have... Actually, no, it continues on. Oh, that's good. And where are we on the map? Okay, look at the map. Yeah, quite a distance. Hmm. About 60% to the edge of the world. If we go, we can actually go up to the smoldering tomb. If we go up north, yes, but... For the east, we feel find the seal tower. This is a, this is a pain. For you need to build stairs all the way to the top to get inside. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be called a seal tower. It was easily accessible. <laughs> True. Right? Here we go. I just felt bad for that moving. <clears throat> Okay, we'll probably have to call it in about half an hour or so, since, well, dinner tends to be a lot earlier these you know, on Wednesdays, these last times, or the last few times that we streamed. Yeah, hence we also tried to start early for both the call and, well, <laughs> just to get more done. Yeah, pulling at the water sides. Let's see. This really goes on for quite a long, quite a while. Yeah. So if there's a chance for us to finding that damn thing, it hopefully should be here. Hmm. And a tall pit next to a cliff. Okay. That's. It continues on northwards. That's actually damn or good, I say. For that, we'll make it extremely more, easy to empty out. Yep, <laughs> missed him somehow. Okay. The hard roads are ag roads. Holy yep. retreat, retreat. What? I've never okay. seen so many. T okay, that's a lot. Groups. They usually maybe like three, four, some and such, but this is bloody like eight. <laughs> I think I killed one or two of them already, but still, that's a lot. Glacier boy fell behind. Yeah. Right, come on. I go. I hit one of them. Okay, there's like and four they are still on my chasing ass. You. 
Wait, I'm coming over. Wait. Holy, you have four, five? <laughs> Saw that one coming. Ow. Okay, need to retreat. Oh, Glacier Boy, you also retreat. Uh, yeah, I, I need to wait for my potions. Can this actually work somewhat? A, a little bit. Makes sense since they're goo. Rush in and hit them! You want to run in and smack them as quick they have fired. Nope. Okay, this this is just an absurd amount of them. Okay, that's like one gone. Okay, yep, and a trophy finally of them. Let's Holy. see, black and sticky mess, of course. I get. I never seen so many of them in one place. That was terrifying. Like, if you were to face them, meet that many solo without any foolings to load into them? Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, just, just run. Just run. And we are taking a... All right. I don't think we need to dig that far down, Glacier Boy. We just need to tip this over the ledge. Well, you may need to deepen it for it is itself deep. I have okay. done it. So technically you will want to stop down here, Hill. Okay. Looks like at least one fooling died in this pit, since there's black metal. Yep. Yeah, there's a black metal in there. Being rather flow, no, no, slow to flow. What okay. the? Oh, I'm full on weight, so I cannot pick it up. Dang it. Now we can set up the, an explorer portal here for a sec. Wait, you, you mean you took it down? Uh, oh no. I forgot that we set that one up. Plus, I don't have the materials anyways. Uh, I can throw out some stone. Okay, it's almost drained. And it's becoming night again. Freaking pile <laughs> pillar of this stuff. Look, you. And there, that should be all. Okay. Out the big stack of wood. Yeah, I got the seventy-five uh, tore on me. Let's see. I've got one hundred and eighty-five. Let's see. Yeah, that's only one. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to throw out the 20 black metal. Okay, back to the boat then. Why did I do that? No, I cannot pick it up. Okay, you could pick it up, good. 
All right, yeah. Let's get back to uh, the boat and portal so we can unload. Then we can. Yeah. All right. Th not that we got a lot of tar. We probably should have done this with by just going around the coast with the boat, anyways. Yep, three foolings. Not Some spear no foolings. You cannot pick up your black metal. Yep, not a single one of those hits. I do say fooling hunting at night being a good idea way to get more black metal, but we just we too have... full on uh, uh, things at the moment. Yeah. And we have enough black metal. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we can explore a bit more inland around that village, but if we can do any more exploring along the coastline, we just use the boats no matter what. Yeah, but we, we need, still need to go inland for explorations. Yeah, but here we we very clearly could have covered all of this just by going around with the boats, since it's just a, we... such a thin strip. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see, how much do we of these weigh? Okay, two per. Incoming. They kind of camouflage against uh, the, the night grass. Don't we rather go. not fight them? The problem is they would then otherwise just follow us to the damn boat. Yeah, and the portal. Yeah, so it the is just a temporary one. Would. I don't think I see them attack portals. Do I see things accidentally attack portals? Like if you put a workbench next to the portal, then a troll on locks may break it because they was next to the portal. Yeah, I'm if, pretty sure they'll probably see... attack them anyways. Yeah, but if it's mobs, if they can't find you, they will target workbenches. Yep. Okay. I'm pretty sure this one spawns practically in front of us. It's a one star. And that's what he gets for a review as well. Oh, so much material. And don't throw black metal at me, Glacier Boy, for I can't carry anymore. This is a sizable mountain next to us, though. Yeah. Yep. Really sizable. Uh, it could be a, a good source for silver. Yeah, we still have plenty of that already, though. Luckily it's, enough. It's iron that we enough. need the most. I'd rather have the least of. And also guck. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is the moment I wish we had some loxes. But it takes so long to tame. Yeah, maybe we can try that off stream as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, plenty to do already. Yeah, you would rather just do it off stream for... It takes like 45 minutes or 35 minutes. And you need to stay out with them loaded in. We could also try and tame some wolves as companions. Hello, Odin. Uh, let's um, see. if we have there. the materials, we could just put some beds in here for a quick rest, though we also need to just offload, so probably best to just keep going. Yeah, we, we, we should have done that earlier. For now, yeah, just better to get to the portal and unload. Let's see, we have Glacier Boy over there, Heal over there, Aluxus by the mountain. Seem to be a lot of those spawning at the moment as well. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, actually, now that I think about it, I once we get back, it might be best to call it there, because in 15 minutes I don't, I'm not too sure what else we can really explore. 
and get back in time <laughs> again. Yeah, like, had we had a portal by the smoldering tomb, then 50 minutes would be good enough to explore it, but... Yeah, we haven't reached that yet, uh, one yet. No. Nah. And it probably takes 50, 50 minutes just to get to it. I can hear foolings uh, right ahead. People, it may look easy at the moment for we being three people, but that's because we are three people. Yeah. Solo, and this can be. Yeah, that's yeah. a torch. Yep. So There's a lot running around between the trees. So yeah, don't. If you play solo, explore the planes only at day. And Lux is ticked off. Yeah, now we're gonna need to end up having to kill it before we log out, don't we? Uh, if mm, we could yeah, jump through the portal, you, but I fear port it might not despawn and just destroy the portal behind us. Damn it! Uh, stuck between a locks and two foolings. Um, you're on your own there, Drakeo. Uh. I ran through the portal. I looped out. Oh okay, no! It, it, it can't. It can't just end up destroying the portal, which means we'll have to go all the way back. Up. We we yeah, have the other so portal. I'm gonna unload, then I say we, before we end stream, this try to solve that damn issue. Yeah, actually, maybe it's far enough away that it's unloaded now. I'd uh, rather we make sure, you know, just in case. No easy way to keep track. As well, okay. I'm pretty sure we all want, you both want your stuff back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we okay. do keep our armor on, luckily enough, but still, there's other stuff on it that we want back. The loot. Okay. Okay, as long as the locks and the fooling stick together, it's going to be annoying to attack either of them. But really? I saw it now. Sleep. Can I parry this thing? Yeah, you just don't parry the stomp. Yeah. You can parry the bite, but not the stomp. And that's the timer. I didn't actually take that much damage from blocking... No, that might be a death run thing. Getting less damage. Speaking of, that just ran out. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it is decently possible to tank a Lux whilst the other... <laughs> whilst anyone else just stabs it in the back. Oh, it is possible as long as you have to get the good, uh, good amount of good stuff to do it. Just if they try to, you know, stand on two legs and stomp you, run. Yeah, that that they didn't seem to do much that. damage either whilst it was blocking. All right, they're usually good at the uh, well with that thing, just make you fly. Okay, it's going to dump out some stuff. And then we can call it. Yeah, could have been some uh, cleaning up over here. 
And now returning home. First uh, of news. Oh, freight exploration trophy. done. But I guess next time we can try to do the tomb. Probably. We sh again, we should pr uh, do some exploring off stream so we don't have to well, spend two hours looking around like this. Yeah. But the planes is one of those areas that it can get exciting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do agree. It, uh, it can get boring if you to have uh, like several streams of exploring the planes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, repair all of my stuff. Okay. Hmm. It it might also have been that the Lux dealt so little damage because I'm currently at 163 health. Yeah, we do have some good armor. Hmm. I I'm kind of glad that Luxes don't come in stars. Let's see, I, what? Oh, right. Let's imagine see. the power of a free star locks. Yeah, <laughs> it would basically do one stomp and crack the planet in half. If this even technically is a planet. Uh, yeah, it would be. They wouldn't nerf the red locks so much. Like I do feel like the locks is good at this is is. Do again. I, I like you can ride it. Just it would be nice if you could put it through portals. I mean, it's a bit easier to tame. Yeah. Like 45 minutes. Hmm. That's a lot, especially to only realize, oh, I, c I can't move the locks to a portal. And it will be a pain to put it on the damn boat. Which you can, just a bloody pain. Okay. Let's see. Let's put up a portal symbol here. And yeah, once <laughs> once you're both done putting everything away, we can call it there. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Glacier Boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna put away the tar. Okay. See, I don't really think we need it too much more. I think at this point the only thing we really need it for is decoration. Let's see, which will probably be enough reason for <laughs> Drakir. Yeah, Let's see. Hot it, it'd be good to have it for the next uh, world. Hmm. And I'm out of that. Yep. <clears throat> the bath, the bathtub, black metal chest, and then yeah, dark wood materials seem to be the only thing that use tar. Yeah, hmm. and some and some furniture and the chests. They chest use the uh, tower. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Well, time to log off then, and then we go look for someone to raid. Yep. Then save. Hmm. Okay, this is up to Hill. Are you up for a second stream today? Well, we could do that. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I feel like we could do an extra Sonic or something. Hmm. We'll already be doing Sonic tomorrow. Maybe Shipbreaker? Uh, Shipbreaker or Cleo. Okay. Um. Either way, though, let me move this over. Let's see. Who are online to raids? Let's see. A good amount of people. Uh, let's see. Sassily is playing on packing. Moonrise is playing Call to the Lamb, probably trying out the new patch stuff, because yeah, it was a patch, not a DLC, I believe. Jeronki is playing The Lost Faith. Let me, yeah, browser is muted. Let's see, what is this? Okay, 2D Castlevania like. Uh, next up, we have Spyro, uh, we have Doug, uh, Doggett Douglas McDog with Spyro 2. Hexagol is playing Lethal Company, Sauer Rolvis is playing Valheim, Amor Flanker is playing Crusader Kings 3, Kirinats Yoko is playing 
Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Can't hurry, say I've heard of that one before. Let's take a look. I have. Uh, it's an older one. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought I'd, I'd recognize that, but that is one of the older ones. And then the last two, we have K9 with Path of Exile and Rebel Raccoon, who is playing Resident Evil. Is that the original? I uh, can't really tell, be <laughs> since he's looking at documents at the moment. Okay, either, but any of those sound of interest to either of you two, or shall I take a pick? You know what? Let's make Glacier Boy pick for once. <laughs> um, go for the Lethal Company one. Okay, Pexical then. Okay. Copy the name, then head to our place. Okay, slash raid. Paste. Okay, but before we start the raid, of course, uh, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. No one active in chat and no lurkers, it seems. So, oh, well. So, yeah, instead, then, well, as usual, thank you, Glacier Boy and Rakir. You're always welcome, my friend. <clears throat> And yeah, thank you anyone else who has been watching now or later. Uh, yeah, maybe a second stream today, depending on things. Uh, tomorrow we will continuing with Sonic Heroes all the same. Friday, day off. And, well, <laughs> the weekend shenanigans in the weekend. Yep. <clears throat> but for now, let's... Yeah, uh, first, let's get that raid started. There. Okay. And, yeah. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and foolings and loxes. <laughs>